Good evening, and thanks for staying up late with us tonight. After a two-year hiatus, the Menominee Indian Reservation is once again hosting an event to honor Sturgeon. Today, tribal members gathered to celebrate for the first time since before the pandemic. Fox 11's Lexi Schrader has our story from Kashina. The sound of jingle dresses are once again making noise at the Menominee Reservation for the Sturgeon Feast powwow. We just want all people to come and enjoy themselves and have a good time. The Sturgeon Feast powwow has been an event celebrated by the Menominee tribe for over 20 years. It starts off with a walk along the Wolf River at Kashina Falls following a grand entry dance. <laughs> this week, the DNR released around 100 sturgeon into the Wolf River on the reservation. Tribal members say they do this annual powwow to honor their ancestors and the fish. One of the first things our five clans did was to uh, fish sturgeon in, in the river. We would wait for them and um, to help replenish our food supplies. It's culturally and spiritually significant to us. This year, the powwow could also help a troubling issue for the community. Last month, the tribe announced steps on battling drug use after leaders said there were around 70 overdoses on the reservation in the last three months. We're trying to um, combat that with uh, positive things, alcohol and drug-free events such as this. One young member says he's excited to be back. I feel honored that I get to be a part of our community and dance. I'm kind of glad that I get to dance because I haven't, we haven't danced in a while. I'm honored that we get to do it in our new facility. The powwow has usually taken place at the high school or casino, but this year was held at the tribe's Family and Community Engagement Center, which opened last year. In Kashina, Lexi Schrader, Fox 11 News. 15 sturgeon were cooked and then given to community members to take home after the festivities.